few months back, I uploaded a project on Arduino image processing, human face recognition and entrance control using electronic lock, VV.NET and MgoCV. In this project, we successfully detected the human face using the frontal face XML file and controlled an electronic lock. The face recognition was possible due to the frontal face XML file. I recommend you should watch this tutorial first and then you can resume from here. As today, we will be using the same project. The link is given in the description if in case you want to watch this tutorial. You can create your own XML files and track almost anything you want. In today's episode, you will learn how to make your own XML file for I pupil tracking. Today's episode covers number one steps to make your own XML file, number two, how to use an XML file. Let's get started. As I want to track blue eyes, so that's why I downloaded pictures having blue eyes. If you want to track brown eyes or black eyes, then simply download images consisting of brown or black color eyes. Or you can also Take pictures of your own eye. The next step is to change the format of these images as these images are of the type JPG. Let's convert these images to BMP format using Adobe Photoshop. We have total of 6 images of the type BMP. Copy these images. This is the software that I will be using for making the XML file. The link is given in the description if you want to download this software. Open the Cascades folder and delete all these folders. Now open the negative folder. This folder consists of the negative images. Negative images are those images which does not consist of the object you want to track. You can also add more negative images of the type JPG. Currently this folder has 200 negative images. These two files are not included. Double click the create list file. Now open the positive folder then open the raw data folder. Simply delete these images and paste the images consisting of eyes. These are the positive images. Now click on the object maker. Now select the region you want to track. Then simply press the spacebar key on your keyboard and then press the enter key. Repeat the same steps for all the images. Double click the samples creations file.
right click on the hard training and select edit with notepad the negative images are 200 while the positive images are 6 Now double click on the hard training file and wait for a while. Now the last step is to double click on the convert file to make the XML file. As you can see, the XML file with the name MyHar is created. Rename this file iPupil. Now this XML file is ready and can be used with Arduino or Raspberry Pi. You can also use this XML file with MgoCV, OpenCV, Python, etc. This is the same application which I designed for the image processing based entrance control system. I have already explained this project in very detail. You can watch this tutorial, the link is given in the description. Let's modify this project. You only have to change the file name. And next change is to adjust these values if necessary. For the better recognition you can play around with these values. Let's play this application and watch this XML file in action. As you can see there is a false detection as well. Let's change the value and see how it affects the detection. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.